But we do have a special, another special guest. We got Boss Lady J. What's going on? Hello. <laughs> How y'all doing? How y'all doing? I like, I like how you said it. She said, like hello, it. man. Yes, I have my different, I'm a little though, but I love it. Okay. And people usually love it, so hello. That's what's up. So tell we got the J's in the building. Hey. Look. Hey, that's what's yes. up. Hey, hey. Shout out right And we spell it the same. Yeah, and it's like I've never. Real, so my middle name starts with a J, but I decided to change up the script on the spelling. Baby, I think we uh, look, it on some crazy. kind of wavelength or something. Hey, I'm telling know. you, what can we do to get this this <laughs> this collab to, to, to happen? I can't even ask it. It has to be. It's like it's, it's needed. Thing. Definitely, man. Definitely. Yeah. So tell my <laughs> listeners about you. What what, what you uh, plan to do for the summer? What you got going on, man? Who you is? Everything. The four one one. All right. Um. First off, pay per view the mixtape. That is what I'm pushing right now. Is my my new mixtape. I have 20 tracks on it. It's available online. You can download it. Um, follow me on Instagram at Boss Lady J J A Y E 713. Um. I'm doing shows all summer. I'm connected with Chemistry Live. Shout out to Mankind. Shout out to Serve All ENT. Um, just working, just working. Yeah. I just dropped this project two weeks ago. I'm working on the next one, and I'm definitely gonna get this gorgeous lady on it. Yeah, really? yes. Yeah. You know we need that collab. <laughs> so um, I got a few collabs on the project. Um, Mr. 380, um, Gojo, Surreal, um, Mankind, of course. Uh, I got some good. I got some good features on there. Okay. Um, I, I really love the independent artists, the uh, the upcoming artists. So that's who I cling to more. We jamming. You know, we we understand each other and. We got good music, so sure. I put a project together that has a lot of um, original tracks and a few, like the one you want, the one that you like, the Ritz Carlton. Um, so it's just something to vibe to. I'm just getting my catalog up. Really want people to feel me, get a, a good vibe of what I do. You know, I'm not just one way. I like to do the whole thing. You understand me? Man, I'm kind of turned right now because I went to Onyx <laughs> and uh, straight up. Yeah, I did. I went to honest. Okay. I, I met up with uh, Mr. Wide Up right before. Shout I out to Mr. Wide Up. Oh boy. And, and, oh boy. Yes, that's <laughs> my brother from another mother. And so I went over there and we and we had an interview with him and stuff like that. Mm. And he was getting hookers. Man, he ate some wings. <laughs> not well, not hookers. He no, was getting the hookers. Ho- 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 you gotta put that O in there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you gotta put that double O in there. <laughs> hey. Wild up, you know what I mean. <laughs> CRP game, pull up. You know what it means. You know what it is. Um, hookah, hookah for the radio. Hey, look, hey, that, that, that's my guy. That's my guy. He's probably like, hold on, what the? Fuck? <laughs> but um, yeah, so I went over there and uh, it was cool. Um, that's what's up. Right, so, yeah, you saw some nice ladies in there though, of yeah, course. Okay, okay, ladies. that's what's up. So I mean, I'm not what I'm used to. I'm used to the player club type of stuff. I believe you. <laughs> I be- hey. hey. I went to um. This was a while back ago. When uh, when I, one probably one of the first clubs I ever went to in Houston. This was like a while back ago. Harlem like man. Off of Jensen. Man. So I went over there. <laughs> Nobody told me about this or what. You know, it's just I'm thinking, okay, it's just whatever. Mm-hmm. I go in here. Hey, baby, how you doing? And then here comes another girl. Hey, baby, how you doing? You wanna go in the back with us? Yeah. Uh, uh, that that I, was the. I, don't, I mean I the don't, hookers. I don't know. It's the hookers you was. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that was I went over there and uh, you know I guess I had a okay time. I guess. Well, well. You know, did you say yes? I'll be like, I, 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 well, let's just say um, I, I didn't have a happy ending. Let's just say that. Oh man. So. He got a hooker instead of a hooker. <laughs> 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 with Boss Lady J, man. J Valentine's still in the building, man. Nice. Um, okay, so Boss Lady J. So let, let, let's talk to you. I want to get, get people to get to know about you. Everything let's do have. it. So where does the Boss Lady J come from? All right. So J is my middle name, actually, on my birth certificate, J-A-Y-E. Boss Lady came from the streets. I'm not going to lie. My previous life, I used to do some things. You, you were doing crazy things? Yeah, man. Don't incriminate yourself. I'm, I will never. I will never. So, you know, I kind of picked up Boss Lady. And um, my artist's name was actually Miss J. Okay. And due to the streets and uh, certain people, uh, shout out to those people, I picked up Boss Lady. Okay. And... Um, it fits more of my persona and how I handle my business and you know uh, my branding and and what represents me so it's Boss Lady J okay, you know and um, that's what it is who's some of your inspiration 
Man, definitely Lauren Hill. Um, definitely, man. Um, I'm an 80s baby too, so you know, I had some Kim, I had some Trina, I had some Remy Ma, you know, Whitney Houston, Beyonce, um, and then of course the male rappers, Jay Z, uh, Fat Pat. You know, I'm so Houston, so Scarface. You know, it's it's just a mixture of them, and and I, I'm a poetress. I'm a, I, I love I love uh, creating things and, and bringing them to paper, and now I can I can put them on, make it into music. So it's just a whole nother step. So it's it's beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man. I wrote poetry first. Okay. I wasn't just I ain't gonna get. I'm, I've been a rapper since I was born. No. No, I wrote poetry. That's how I express myself. That's how I deal with my surroundings and what I went through. I wrote about it. So at a certain like 18, 17, my my homeboy was like, "Man, you can rap." I'm like, bro, I'm not a rapper. Really? When I got in that booth and I and I realized you can create and really take those words in, man, I've been in love ever since. So yeah, that's, cool. that's what it is. So what 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 would, what would you say your type of flow is? What what would your your type of style would be? <laughs> yeah, I'm look. Shout out to Valentine, <laughs> Jay Valentine in the building. Um, yeah, I I like doing me if that makes sense. Um, I kind of I feel like I'm an artist, so I create whatever that beat is telling me. I I create it. You know, um, I like to talk a lot of noise. I ain't gonna lie, but I bag it up. Don't get me wrong, but I like that fly talk. I also like giving a message. You know, I got my songs where I got messages, but. You know, I just kind of go off the dome with it. You know, I don't freestyle, I write, sure. but it's just it's those beats really talk to me and and open me up to whatever that is at that moment. I could go from from street to the to the courthouse, back to the block. Sure, you know, sure. so it just depends on what that beat is talking to me about. I like when 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 you can be when I say camouflage, because I can go into a corporate setting and I can be corporate. Oh yeah. I can go into the hood setting. And be hood oh yeah. If I need to. Yeah. So it's a, it, that's a good feature to have mm-hmm. that you can dip in and out of whenever you can. Yeah, I worked at the courthouse for, for the first five years of my. I've been doing the music since about. 11 12 so the first five years i worked at the courthouse i sat by judges i saw da's all day i saw and i'm still writing i'm at the studio i'm doing shows every night and my and the people around me knew but i handled my business you know what i'm saying and i I kept the job away from the you know from from the music and so that's that's why it sounds you should say i sound like i articulate my words or whatever i mean i it's it's that well-roundedness you know and, that, and i feel like that's what also makes me a boss lady you know what i'm saying being able to kind of do both go from the the table the board meeting to the block and and you know what i'm saying and and True. come back and yeah okay that's what's up um now for me i think a lot of people have to understand this um investing into yourself um, if you don't invest into yourself, how can you expect somebody to invest into you? Man. So let me ask you this. How important do you think it is to invest into yourself? Whew. Everything that Boss Lady J has done, she has done on her own. That's how important I think it is. Real. And and it's, you know, I would love to have a team. When the time is right, I will. Yeah. But from, from day one up until now, it's me. And I invest from them posters to, to my look, to, you understand me, to everything. I, I put my own money into it because it's what I want to do. My label. It, you know, I want to get to the point where it's people around me, but I invest in myself, man. I go hard. Like, hey, I, I, and, and that's the real deal, man. That's the, um, the name of the game is that um, when, when, when I met uh, Jay Valentine at the showcase, when, it wasn't really a showcase, but at the 93.7 thing, um, what I noticed is, she was really the only one that was that came up to me hmm. and that says something hmm. like you know my thing is if we're at a showcase why aren't we networking with right. each other right. you may never know who's in the building like some people there's like oh there's only five people in there right. but you may never know who those five people are and where they can take you mm-hmm. so um my thing is i i salute you and jay valentine because i seen you um at my girl's thing and my home girl's thing um uh, Miss April, uh, I saw you at the um, DJ battle. Mm-hmm. Then I then I seen you. You invited me out to um, chemistry. The, yeah, chemistry. Mm-hmm. And she was just <clears throat> working the floor, man. She was just you know saying hi, how you doing, <laughs> and meeting everybody. And I think that's what it really matters right. is that you have to have an outgoing go go get a mentality, right? Because right. at the end of the day, 
like for me, I don't have a regular nine to five. Mm-hmm. This is what I do. I'm a right. DJ. I'm a radio personality. I'm a. I do photography as well on the side mm-hmm. and videography. So, um, it's just you have to really want it. You right. Have to, right. So. And nobody. I believe that nobody will promote you like you. Nobody will mm-hmm. go as hard as you will for yourself. And ever since I started, all I've known is to hey, I'm Boss AJ. You know, I do music. I you know that. It's, it's the whole networking game, and I think that's where a lot of a lot of artists get lost. That they they put a single out, or they do a couple, and they just in the corner, like somebody yeah. know them. Let me tell it. Don't nobody know about Lady J. Yeah. Let me tell it. That's how you know. Somebody come up to me, I be like, girl, or uh, you know, how you doing? And I'm so, cause I'm not, you know, and it's it's not talking down on me or where I'm at in my career or anything, but I'm I'm not even where I want. I'm thankful for where I'm at. But you know, I want to. It's, it's so many more people that I want, like her, huh, UK. That's what I'm trying to get to. Real, you real. know what I mean? So, you know, we, we just have to network. And that's what I always, whenever I'm doing an event, whenever I'm hosting something, go talk to somebody. You don't know who's standing outside of you. And people just say, no, I'm here to rap. Then what you going to do? Because if you have no promotion, you have nothing with you, and, and your song won fire, you, nobody's going to remember you. You know what throws me off? And, and <laughs> DJ say, you can vouch for me for this. They want to talk to everybody else but the DJ. Oh yeah, the guy that's gonna play or the girl who's gonna yeah. play your track. Yeah, yeah, because what comes with that? <clears throat> Excuse me. What comes with that? Real. I don't know if you hear me. DJs can be intimidating. They they're not always welcoming to artists. Right. right. They look at you crazy when you ask. My name is Freddie. Mm-hmm. Well, you want to hear my record? You want They look at you crazy. You so right? For somebody who doesn't have a tough skin. Mm-hmm. Here's what I will say. Here's what I will say. Not my man would be like, you better get up there and talk to him. <laughs> yeah. So, because I'm, I'm an introvert, so it, it takes effort. Mm-hmm. For me to be, hey, I'm just, you know, right. I gotta do what I gotta do. Exactly. Really. Here's what I will say, and here's, and, and this what I call little icebreakers. Find a guy to drink. Figure out what his favorite mm-hmm. drink is. Hey, you go, you, go, you know, tell, tell whoever brings the drink. Here, that's from that person right there. Mm-hmm. And sometimes, you know, you, and you know, and, to pay to play sometimes that's what it is but sometimes right. you don't necessarily have to do right. the pay for play it's building relationships exactly and you know what I like to do I like to catch the DJs not on duty if you will real, real. you know I like to catch them out and about and then I like to catch them again and then I like to Man, let me slide to my music. You know what I'm saying? It's a certain way, you know, because those relationships last longer than me just walking up to you, giving you twenty, fifty dollars, whatever that is, and you play my song. And if my song doesn't leave an impression on you or whatever that is, I'm wasting my money that night. Exactly. You know, versus building and, you, and letting you see and, and letting you know what's going on. And then, you know, and, and then in that case, you have people send me your music versus sure. can I send you my music? They're like, no, I see you working. I like your single. Send me your music. You know, so it. I'm a sponge. I'm a sponge. And, girl, I be soaking up game. I pay attention, you know, and I try to do what's not being done, whatever that looks like, you know. So it just come with time. And, and you just pay attention, you know what I mean? And and do you. That's one thing I believe in, doing you. And that's why I salute you for, for what you're doing and taking the route that you're taking on and not being – Oh, I'm not finna go in the clubs. I'm not. I'm all Nah, baby, you got to get it out the mud. You know, and you to me, you're more respected versus someone who just appears up. You know, and and and, and it's it's so much, man. I salute you. Uh huh. Just like you build a house. What you need first? Exactly. That's what it get is. into it, baby. That's what it is. Man. <laughs> it's just like you know. Um, I think a lot of people don't, and this this is my thing. They don't do. That, that groundwork anymore. They're not, you know, doing what you're doing with the flyers. They're not going, hey, how you doing? Meeting hand on hand stuff. They, you know what they're doing? They're relying on social media, Instagram, Snapchat. And you never see them out. You never see them out. And then you know you have those posts to say, we'll see who's working in five years. Yeah. Real talk. Real. Real talk because it's it, the game has come so much online. You know, well, I can sell my CDs. I can do all that. Well, it's a 50 50 thing to me. You know, you got to be in the streets and you have to still have an online internet presence. Yeah. You know, if nobody knows you in the streets, you know, and we're not talking about the hood. We're talking about the streets, period. Yeah. You know, if they don't know you in person and it's just an internet thing, what you doing? You know, like Kevin Gates said, what you doing? You know, 
real. It, you got to have both of them. And I always, and this was years ago, I'm like, man, I got to get the streets. I got to get the internet. You know, and, and I was on Twitter before Twitter was Twitter. Really? You know, I was I was on MySpace and all them other things. So, you know, and staying ahead of the time and just paying attention to what's going on. And sometimes... Yeah. Oh yeah, man. Yeah. And then don't don't lose contact, man. I won't. I won't. I'm coming out the shot down to see you, you. I promise. You got my number. Yes. Call. Yes. That's Text. Right. Just don't come there and pop up because okay. I tell people this all the time. When they come there and they pop up, I can't get you what the the full that's amount. Right. That you that I know I can give you. That's you know right. what I'm saying? That's so right. um, I tell people, if you looking to do something, let me know ahead of time. It can be done. I'll let you know. I promise. So, I thank you for having me. Give the Facebook, the Twitter, everything where they can find you. Uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. What else is it? Google Plus, uh, MySpace, <laughs> um, uh, Date Me. No, nah, I'm just playing. Uh, Boss Lady J, J A Y E 713. Boss Lady, B O S S L A D Y. Um, just, man, follow me. I got YouTube videos, um, SoundCloud, everywhere. I'm working on my website, okay. Pay Per View Mixtape. Pay Per View, the mixtape is online everywhere. Go catch it. Go get that. Boss Lady J right there. Make sure you guys stay in tune with her. And like I told you at the beginning of the broadcast, I told you you want to get to know these girls. Like Definitely. These women. These, these J's, baby. Hey, listen. I like that. These J's. <laughs> Honey. Hey, when we come back, man, we're going to sign out with uh, J Valentine, my girl, man. Jeez. So we're going to come right back. Side Tyler Radio. Let's go.